What is up my dudes from YouTube? So, on a road trip out to Waterfall Boerfen, that's somewhere in Mpumalanga, and we're going out there to get some travel fuels photos taken, and it's gonna be a time I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride, take you along for the journey. So, excuse the shitty GoPro footage, the only thing I can mount on my windscreen, but without further ado, cue me roll. Chose to do a little bit of an app sale today. Hopefully, I'm in focus. If shit, let's see. Come on, go. Now I'm in focus. That's Sabrina, by the way, a fellow photographer in the southern of Africa. I'm not freaking out. Anymore. We're not freaking out on heights. Look at this shit. But that's Boven. That's where all the climbers come. It's all the dirt bags with no jobs and wife come and hang out here. But it's beautiful, lovely landscape, and it's a nice and cloudy sunny day I don't know it, it changes on the fly really quickly but pretty sick we're gonna walk around and take some photos there are stains on your photo little cracks on your rusty frame stuck in okay Bruce been real, but I'm tired. I'm real tired. So now we're heading back to camp. We'll do some more. Uh, weather is not permitting us to do much more. Look at that crap. It really sucks. But I'm now gonna go back, change some batteries, and we're gonna do this some more. Holiday's not over. Okay guys, so while I have you here, little note, something I forgot, bring a circular polarizer because it's fucking damn necessary up here, the light changes so dramatically and I don't want to change my f-stop the whole time but can I have to for this video, it's pretty shit, but content's content and this is beautiful. So Ben, what is your top tips for taking photos, of, for taking lifestyle photos? Hectic, we're in a lifestyle environment, so be in one, A. Eh? And then, uh, second one, I don't know, know your shit. Know your, know your gear. If you don't know your gear, then it's game over. Your favorite lens for, battery. for lifestyle? Uh, as a beginner, 50 more. <laughs> Good old nifty. Good old nifty. Okay, cool. Guys, that was Ben. I'm gonna put him and his tags down in the video below. So check him out, he's a fantastic lifestyle photographer.
Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you guys some of the footage that I've taken, some of the videos, and I'll show you guys some of the images of the day. Um, I'm mostly shooting on my uh, 100 to 400 because of that smooth, smooth creaminess in the background, isolating the subject. Because sometimes in these type of environments, if you don't have a subject matter, that's my top tip, find a subject matter. If you don't have one, create one. So over here, you have a lot of rolling hills in this environment. So in a sense, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to look at, but the cameras I find never, never do it justice. But that's my opinion. Yeah, so my top point is create a subject matter. So if it's travel, lifestyle, make sure that you get something in the subject matter that is meaningful to that area that you're traveling or traveling environment. So for me here, I would say the most uh, meaningful subject is the grass in the hills. So I'm gonna try and incorporate that as much as I can in the photo, but without losing the subject matter, which is gonna be mainly my people, like portrait style subject matter. But check it out and I'll show you guys the settings. You got some cool tips here from Ben and myself. Um, remember, do some focal stacking if it is a landscape of some nice detail that you really want to capture. Um, otherwise, isolate if it's boring background. Background doesn't always matter. It's the subject matter that matters, the story you're telling. So always focus on the story at that time. So always focus on the story you're trying to tell and the story within your picture. And yeah, well, that's all from me for today, guys. And yeah, enjoy footage of Jacques beating a bush.